Shalom, all praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahusha, Ba'asham Lohu HaKadosh, Dabala Anu Santa, the Elder Apostle, is a great man's daughter for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things, Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, I wanted to do a quick video, because as you all know, you know, you got stories, like, not stories, you got documentaries like this, the good hair, and all that, that type of crazy bullshit, you know, but I'm going to show you what is good hair according to the scriptures, real quick, Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld that the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, that's the Heavenly Father, the Creator of everything, and anything you see and cannot see, did sit, so he had a body in order for him to be able to sit, whose garment was white as snow, so he had clothing on, right? And the hair of his head like the pure wool, which is like this, which is like this this which is this which is this fluffy white wool pure wool <laughs> it doesn't say the color but anyway pure wool right his throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire this goes into the chariots if you read the book of Ezekiel chapter 1 you will see that the wheels within the wheels which are chariot spaceships <laughs> there there is burning fire and what does light represent where light represents fire so when you see a light in the in the sky fire in the sky for example fire in the sky what is fire in the sky as a spaceship here what is what what is happening he's being beamed up it's a spaceship that's what it's talking about yeah, it's a spaceship. Right, wait, let me see if I can get a better thing. Let me see. There's a movie also about it. Fire in the sky. Here, he's being beamed up. And then they want to say it's this. But if you look at the alien, the alien head is actually based on an afro. This is the alien head. That's what it represents. A big alien head. This. This is what it represents. <laughs> this. Going on. So, that's one. The Heavenly Father, by the way. The hair of his head, like the pure wool. <laughs> now comes his son. Revelation 1 and 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Now, if you read the rest of the chapter, you will see that the seven golden candlesticks represents the seven churches in Asia, Min Asia Minor, which is Turkey nowadays. We were there too, too, by the way. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, so he had clothing on, with, and girded about the paps with a golden girdle. The, his head and his hairs were white like wool his head his beard and stuff like that right and his hairs on his head in his face were white like wool which is the texture as white as snow which is the color mm, thank you here which is the color now if you look at this yeah that's not working out they did portray themselves as the people of the lord which is ID identity theft which is what they're doing you know, it's uh, it's natural for a a demon to do that. So it says here, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. <laughs> the white of his eyes were red because he was drinking wine. And uh, that's in the book of Genesis 49. Verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. And his teeth white with milk, which which means that he will know the scriptures. First Peter two two. As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Because we are babes. When you're born again, you're a baby, and a baby doesn't eat fish, um, you know, fish meat because you you it, the child might die because of the 
the bones of the fish. It doesn't eat meat neither. It doesn't eat a cow, chicken, meat. It doesn't eat that because the baby has no teeth. So they can't chew it. That's why they need to drink milk. That's why you need to come up with the baby scriptures and stuff like that. You know, the easy scriptures to digest and understand. And then later on, you start eating meat, you know? Right. So, his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. And he's the one that shall come out of Judah, which is Yahweh Shai, which everybody calls Jesus. Where, uh, as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So adding on to that, so not just fine brass, but brass as if it's burned in the furnace. And his voice has the sound of many waters. If you stand near a waterfall, you can't talk. Well, you can talk, but you can't really. You're, you're going to have to scream to the person right next beside you. Because, you know, if you go to, for example, Niagara Falls or something like that. And you will really hear how loud it is. Yeah. It's really loud. Anyway the sound of many waters so he had a powerful loud voice <laughs> and these Edomites don't have powerful loud, loud voices they got like hey uh, how you doing hi my name is uh, Mr. White Man <laughs> hi <laughs> that's how they talk so that's funny as hell so yeah now going to this part Mark chapter 10 verse 18 and Yahweh said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one that is the heavenly father so that means that the Heavenly Father is good, right? Mark, no, Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So the Heavenly Father is perfect and he's good. And <laughs> thus, <laughs> this is good hair and this is perfect hair. Yeah, because yeah, he has that. So, <laughs> so that's the good perfect hair. Yeah, that's it. Right, so all that, uh, you know, because you have to understand, it comes from one side. It, it's a one-sided battle. Everybody on the planet Earth hates this. Even our own people don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, it's 2024 right now, and this garbage is going to stop, you know what I'm saying? It's not just got to stop, it, it will. Eventually, everything will be set back in order, how the Heavenly Father intended things to be. But he intended this to be also, why? Because Ezekiel chapter 5 and in, wait, right, so Ezekiel chapter 5 verse 15, so it shall be a reproach and a taunt, so what is a taunt? A remark made in order to anger, wound, or provoke someone. Uh, uh, you know, your hair. All the things that they say about our hair. That is a, that the Lord did that. The Lord caused for that to happen in order to harm us. Right? Because we harmed him by going to other gods. But now he's having mercy upon us. So he's waking us up. So that we know, first, first and foremost, who we are. Second, also to defend yourself when anybody says anything about your hair so it shall be a reproach and a taunt we and an, an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee when i shall execute judgment in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes i Yahweh, have spoken it <laughs> jeremiah chapter 24 verse 9 and i will deliver them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt to be a reproach and a proverb like for example if you want to hide something from a nigger put it in the book a taunt and a curse so the lord made us a taunt basically that people would taunt us and that we will we would be under the curses in all places where the eye shall drive them and you have to understand and Ezekiel 
You see, we are not a cursed people. We are under curses. But the curses are being lifted up right now. Daniel's chapter, Daniel chapter nine, verse eleven. Yea, all Israel have transgressed. The so-called Negros, Latinos, and Indianos have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, in the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Heavenly Father, because we have sinned against him. And he had confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, which are the heathen nations. They were our judges. <laughs> By bringing upon us a great evil, a great evil. And that evil was slavery, among other things. Also the curses and stuff like that, but anyway, going on. So it says here, for under the whole heaven had not been done as had been done upon Jerusalem. Yeah. Because if you, if you look at all the captivities that we've been up in, under the Assyrians, under the Babylonians, under the Hamites, all different ones of them, Canaanites, uh, Mizraim, uh, Cushites, all that there. Yeah, nobody done anything to us like how the Caucasus did it, like the Edomites did it. That's one of the reasons why this is written beautifully here, standing, just standing, dipping in his low low. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 18 And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining extermination of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So, at least one nation in the on the planet earth is up for extermination. Who shall that be? Anyway, let's go on. Let's go on. Let me go on. I mean. So yeah, there you have it. That's the good hair. This is it. And this is what we have as a nation of people, right? If you clean it up, it's going to be like this. Pure, white, woolly, fluffy hair, <laughs> right? So this is it. That's the good hair according to the Bible. This is 2024, but it's got to stop doing that bullshit, you know? Because, uh, what was it? Uh, somebody, somebody said good hair, um, like two days ago or something like that so and I just popped up in my head again okay so let me make this video so anyway that's the good hair according to the Bible yeah so with that yeah, the fact that we are being really killed that's the Heavenly Father but like I said the curses are lifting up the Heavenly Father is making sure that the curses are lifting up bit by bit bit by bit piece by piece piece by piece you know so with that I'm gonna say shalom